A GPT-4 level medical AI is here. This is II Medical 8B from Intelligent Internet. This is MIT licensed, laptop ready, no GPU needed. This model is already released on Hugging Face. In this video, let's try out this model. Let's try to understand how they created this model. Uh, let's go to our collab demo first. Let's try out the model. Okay, so it's an 8 GB model. You can load the model like this, right? Uh, the model ID is this intelligent internet AI medical 8B. Okay, and you can push it to the GPU. This particular model takes close to 16.5 GB. So I'm running it on an L4 instance. This is a paid instance. Okay, um, so once I load the model like this, I can create a conversation like this over here. An interesting thing is when I load the model, it says Quen3 for causal LM because this particular model is actually a fine tuned version of Quen3. Okay, so you can also do reasoning with this particular model. So that's what I'm going to demo over here. Uh, so I can create a conversation like this for the system. I put the prompt as your role uh, as an intelligent medical assistant involves thoroughly exploring questions through a systematic thinking process before providing final precise and accurate solution. This requires engaging in a comprehensive cycle of analyzing summary, exploration, reassessment, reflection, backtracing and iteration to develop well considered thinking process. Uh, this was important. Okay, they had mentioned over here in their model release that if you want thinking, you put it like this, please structure response into this thing, thought and solution uh, using the specified format. So this is a thought section, think section. Okay, uh, each uh, step should have this, right? So what they said is that uh, please reason step by step and put your final answer within box. So this is something which was mentioned. So I put that over here. And my query over here is that a person has widespread body pain, all inflammatory markers are negative. There are typos over here with inflammatory, negative, okay. Body pain worsened by exercise. What would be the possible diagnosis? Typos everywhere. Sorry about that. But then the model was, I ran the model over here. So you can apply chat template on these messages and you can give it like this. Uh, you can give it to the model to generate the output, okay. So it has generated the output. It is giving the thought se uh, section over here. First, it is typing about all possible possibilities like restless leg syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, it talks about fibromyalgia and other things because pain worsens with exercise in some conditions like fibromyalgia. It is recommended because it can help. So it talks about the possibilities and then it gives this nice thought section analyzing the question the patient has right uh, spread body pain, normal inflammatory markers and pain worsened by exercise. Key findings suggest a systemic condition, uh, rules out inflammatory markers, indicates a possible link to physical activity, brainstorming ideas are these conditions, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, hypothyroidism, vitamin D deficiency, medication side effects. Okay, then it verifies the accuracy and finally it gives the answer as the most likely diagnosis is fibromyalgia. So it's given a very good uh, explanation over here. Okay, so another thing which I gave over here is that uh, another example, a person has throat pain, has swallowing difficulties, no fever, has white spots on tonsils. What is the diagnosis and possible therapeutic options? So it starts by like, okay, these are the different uh, conditions which could be possible. The patient has fever, so maybe not these conditions. Uh, it could be streptococcal pharyngitis, which is the most likely diagnosis because you have white spots or exudate, uh, most likely strep. Uh, so it does the analysis over here, right? Differential diagnosis, it gives the following uh, streptococcal pharyngitis, viral pharyngitis, tonsillitis, you know, peritonsillar abscess. So it gives all these things and finally it gives that possibly it is this particular condition, therapeutic options including penicillin V or amoxicillin, if you're allergic, azithromycin. So it, it is kind of given a very good uh, answer over here. Okay. Um, so again, a good clinical response. Maybe clinicians will have a different opinion, but based on past experience, I can tell you that uh, this response seems to be good over here. I There is this Levita chat doctor healthcare magic data set where you have a lot of queries and you have answers provided by doctors over here. So I gave this particular, uh, you know, query over here. Uh, so it is about, okay, let me go over here. It's about, I woke up this morning feeling the whole room is spinning. Uh, when I was sitting down, I went to the bathroom walking unsteadily. As I tried to focus, I feel nauseous. I try to omit, but it doesn't come out. After taking some medicine and sleep, I feel, what is this condition? If I lay down or sit down, my head do not spin. Only when I move around, it spins. What And it is normal stop. Uh, and is it normal stomach discomfort at the same time? Earlier, after I relieved myself, the spinning lessens. So what is this? So that's the question over here, right? So here it says symptom analysis. This uh, it could be vestibular neuritis. It is positional vertigo. It could be Meniere's disease, migraine. So it is actually vertigo basically, right? So it says uh, final this thing. Consult a healthcare provider promptly for evaluation of these things. Avoid certain movements and ensure hydration. So it is kind of given a good answer over here. Possibility of vertigo or you know this thing vestibular neuritis. And it says consult a doctor over here. 
this is an another good response from this particular model okay now what they say is that this particular model is only for research purposes don't use it for clinical purposes because further validation needs to be done okay that is what they are saying over here right uh, but it seems to be a very good uh, model which achieves performance 40% uh, score on health bench which is an open source benchmark for evaluating performance and safety of large language models in healthcare so health bench was recently released by open ai i have made a video explaining what it is you can check this also i'll put the link of this video in the description of this video okay uh, so here they co provide a comparison of you know this particular model uh, with respect to other models like gpt4 o gpt4.5 and here they say that this particular model you know uh, scores around 40% on this particular benchmark right uh, they have also uh, published complete bench health benchmarks results here so we can check that out also okay uh, okay so how this particular uh, model has scored you know what was the scores and other things so they have given a transparent uh, results uh, they have also compared it with across 10 medical benchmarks across various models and uh, here are the scores of this particular model across other models okay uh, so this is a 8 billion parameter model uh, you have 72 billion parameter models over here and other things and they say that this model demonstrates strong performance in the 7 to 8 billion class outperforming several larger models okay so how did they train this particular model um, so what they did over here was they you know um, did train it on a medical reasoning data set which includes close to 500k samples divided into four main categories public reasoning data sets close to 100k uh, samples from various sources like general medical reasoning medical r1 distilled data medical r1 distilled data english chinese and these data sets from synthetic medical qa enhanced with uh, qwq quen this thing so another 200k samples from med uh, mcqa med qa and med reason curated reasoning uh, traces on uh, close to 300k data samples from public reasoning uh, traces data set filtered with quen 2.5 32 billion instruct so they created a huge uh, data set a medical reasoning data set basically uh, and then then they created a specialized pipeline which ensures medical domain relevance okay where they did embedding generation utilizing sentence transformer clustering domain classification to classify clusters based on medical biological content okay and that they did a small supplement of math samples also over here so this was their data set then they did data decontamination data pre-processing okay on this particular data set and then they created this reinforcement learning data set okay then they supervised fine-tuned a quen 3 8 billion instruct model on this particular data set that's what they did over here and they also applied reinforcement learning using dapo decoupled clip and dynamic schedule policy opti uh, optimization algorithm uh, so they did that over here and that is how they got this final model okay so this is an interesting new health uh, care based uh, what do you call an llm for the healthcare domain so if you look at over here what they are saying is that uh, benchmark evaluation somewhere they were talking about cost based benchmark evaluation let us look into it mm, as shown in the health bench performance cost frontier this ii medical 8b delivers strong benchmark performance at zero inference cost it outperforms large models like gpt 4.5 and o4 mini in both efficiency and accessibility it is compact enough to run on consumer hardware putting doctor level medical reasoning directly in your pocket so this is a path towards you know uh, demands of uh, audition support medical education and safe research applications so that was the idea over here uh, medical ai presents unique challenges it demands structured step by step inference accuracy grounded in real world clinical knowledge and outputs that can be audited by experts so this model was developed towards these requirements so they have not explicitly spe uh, specified mit license over here but in their twitter release they are saying it is mit licensed that means it's open source uh, open weights um, you can run it on as i said a gpu with 16 gb ram or you know cpus as well that's what they claim over here so this was a video about medical ii medical 8b from intelligent internet hope this video is useful i'll be sharing the collab notebook and all the relevant links in the description of the video see you in another video